my name is uh, International of the man who was uh, death and concentration camp in the Second World War. When saved, uh, uh, he did, dedicated the rest of his life to bringing war criminals to justice, uh, mass murderers. He brought uh, some 100 plus criminals uh, courts, and um, we carry his. Because we believe that and then is also happening now. M mass murderers, new dangers, and so the time we not today. We my office in Paris, cover Europe, uh, East and Latin America, uh, basically in institution, which is the United Nations and here in Istanbul. Mm. The work that we do is to lobby against Today, that for charity among those who are targeted uh, by hate. Uh, it, it's not only Jews. We also monitor Islamophobia uh, against Muslims. We monitor um, negrophobia against uh, black Africans. Um, it's against women, children, disabled people. Uh, and I mean, all of this, we as, a, as human beings should stand together uh, against hate. Yeah. Unfortunately, there are too many cleavages. Um, say, hundred thousand even here in Turkey, and um, my own was living here in Istanbul, and um, he then England. I was born in England and raised in England. Our European Paris, so that's. That ability to defend young children. After the in Toulouse, France, by a list who had been in Syria, Mohammed Al down to Toulouse. We met with the Jews, of course, but then we. The Muslim and was to show the Muslim leaders, as we did, that children are seeing that are reaching the Islam. And we suggest that Jewish parents to come and see parents and see to their youth. If they can create that type of bonding, then we will be strong. Unfortunately, today, I, I, I still a success on two levels. On one level, it is for second or third. What is true? Will jobs where I am in France? It, it's position to to fix the desire press their bitterness because of their situation by being to go through Turkey to Syria or Iraq and to commit atrocity of young uh, young Muslim just in France in England in uh, the internet they are, would they like to speak to a soldier from their town Well, she wants romanticism. She wants mystique. Here is the mystique. Whether it is a real soldier or a tower, no. But in her life, well, would you meet him? Come, we will we'll meet you. And we'll cross. Don't come alone, your friends. Your friends. When happens, and it is happening. Who knows? Going to be you, going to be man, man in his. 
to be a girl fight? We don't know. But that has to be has to be conspiracy theories. They are bound. Whether it's the Jews who did it or it's the Freemasons who did it, uh, everybody needs to have some scapegoat. It makes life so much easier if you can explain simplistically that it's the fault of somebody else. So when you start dealing like that, to blow up the conspiracy theory, Simon Weir, he used to make jokes. He had a great sense of humor, and he believed the jokes were the of the conspiracy theory. It's like a grenade in a house. He also loved youth because he saw the future and the hope in youth. Today we have, have in, in Western Europe young people suffer in Turkey, um, not in Turkey, in Syria and, and, and Iraq, coming back through Turkey, coming back to France, to Britain. It's for de-radicalization. Now that to me looks a little bit like denazification at the end of World War II when uh, Germany was occupied uh, by the British, the French and the uh, Americans and on the other side by the Russians. They, because of the to record the war were the Nazis. So in doing this, the idea was that you are going to create more understanding. And I believe that what we have in common between Judaism, Islam, and Christianity is the idea of the whether it's in the Bible or in the Quran, it is also a is come to the Battle of Armageddon to uh, see or the air comes, and the world is now, that's true. A a line of development which goes from beginning to end. But in that case, what are we here for? We're here to leave a better world. We're here to leave to our children and our grandchildren a world in which they will not suffer some of the problems we did. We will have technology. And we are going out of here to the end of improve all the time. That's a celebration of life. It is, for example, Holocaust survivors of the death camp from hell rebuilt their lives. They rehabilitated themselves. And that is the hope that we have to have, not a culture. A The real it would be each day. It would be some type of in your forces of good and, and evil, and to sort of good win. We have common the our holy books between our traditions, between our sense of fact. I think that we have in common that it's a tragic situation we face today. I think that Turkey. Major. Israel is a tiny country. It is a major power in Iraq. It is the nation. I think that disparities between the two countries, sadly, over the past few years, it was no help. I believe that they normalized. I fought in the 90s for the end of the European Union. I believe he has its European Union. Uh, I don't think the majority of the game was. But it means that uh, Turkey has also to play a role, the a club. And uh, Go to I think that you're right. I think that in, in that relationship, and I think that it's good. I may like to come why I'm here.
UNESCO Heritage Committee. It used to be a very impressionist arm for its sites. One of those sites is Auschwitz-Birkenau, the greatest hecatomb in history. Auschwitz. So, was, this was about 12 years ago, deck in Auschwitz, in the protected area. It was in where they were cut before they were set up. And um, Poland, we did it. I went to Cairns, Australia, where the meeting committee. And I said, I come from, from my friends that are the same. 